Hi babies, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and welcome back to my channel. So I know the last time we talked, I said I wasn't gonna buy anything. Well, see, what happened was, <laughs> Elf was having a really good deal during the holidays. It was like 50% off the entire website and free shipping, so you know I had to go pick something up. But I didn't get a lot, like I did really good. I'm on a budget still, still. But I did go to MAC, I went to the drugstore, and I got a few products that I really want to share with you guys. So, this is going to be a quick haul. It's not going to be anything long or dramatic or grandiose. But I wanted to come and show you guys things that I got before I really start hitting you guys hard with this new product in my videos. So, if you want to see what I bought, you can go ahead and keep on watching. So, I'm going to start with my goodies from e.l.f. because that's kind of what kick-started this whole little shopping spree for me. So, <laughs> this is my box. Again, you guys, I really didn't get a lot. I've been really good. I've been really proud of myself in the way I've been saving money and managing my money because I wasn't very good at that. So, um, I ordered a few things. One moment, please. Okay. So, in the box, I got a free Illuminate Eye Cream uh, sample and then just this little uh, card about their new skincare line. But I'm going to start with brushes because I only picked up three of them. The first one I got is the small tapered brush. And this one I really wanted to try out for highlighting and or my under eye setting powder. It looks like this. It's a little bit firmer than I thought it was going to be. Like it's not firm as in like a uh, like a synthetic pointed foundation brush firm. firm. But the um, brushes on the brush are a little bit stiffer than I thought they were going to be. I thought they were going to be a little bit more fluffy and you know. I'm not quite as dense but this one is a very good brush it seems like it's really well made which is always a plus and it looks like this the tapered point isn't like a harsh point it's more so like a not a dome shape but in the the shape of like a a little tail a little fluffy tail but I'm excited to see how this one goes for either applying under eye setting powder or dusting it away like I know I look, I'm not oily, I promise. I just went dewy today because I don't know, I'm just feeling really extra. But I wanna see how it does with that. Hmm, we'll see, we'll try it out. The next brush I picked up is the Flawless Face Brush. It looks like this. It's another synthetic brush. I think all their brushes are synthetic, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but it's really, really, really soft and fluffy. Like this brush feels so good. I, when I got it, I thought it was going to be another foundation brush, like the um, Softly Ready foundation brush, but it's not. It's actually a little bit bigger. It's more of a dome shape, and oh my god, it's so soft. <laughs> this would be perfect for like a light dusting of powder, or if I want to like blend everything out whenever I'm using like cream contour, cream highlight, cream foundation. Um, I can tell this isn't going to give me a lot of coverage or pick up a lot of product, which isn't a bad thing. But I'm definitely excited to try this one out. The last brush I got is just a backup because I love it that much. And it is the Softly Ready Foundation Blurring Brush. You guys, this brush is amazing. Like, I know when I showed you in my last, last video, I said that I loved it. In that first impressions video, if you haven't seen it, you can go ahead and click it right here. Um, but I really do love this brush. It's all I've been using for my foundation lately. So I wanted a backup for my um, self so I didn't have to keep... <laughs> I was gonna say so I don't have to keep washing my brush, but let's be honest, I don't really wash my brushes that often. I just hit it with some spray and keep it pushing, but I don't. I wanna get out of that because I do know I need to clean my brushes more regularly, so I figured when I'm feeling lazy, I can just grab the other one. I picked up two blush and contour palettes. The first one is a replacement for my Turks and Caicos blush and bronzing powder. If you guys know, I used to use that a lot in my videos, but the pan was broken and it was old and just tired. So I got me a fresh brand new one. This is what she looks like. I don't really use the blush shade too much because it's, I think it's too light for me to use as a blush, but that bronzing shade is gorgeous. Yeah, like that's a little too light, I think. So this is what the blush in the palette looks like. I hope my light isn't too bright. But that's the blush in the palette. You guys have already seen the bronzing shade in my previous videos, but that's why I don't really fool with it. Like, it's not bad, but I just really use it for the contouring powder. <laughs> the next one I got was actually on sale in addition to the sale, and it is the blush and, blush and bronzing powder 
in Antigua. I'm not sure why this is on sale. I don't know if they're discontinuing it. But it was another dark shade. So I knew I wanted to pick it up. Because you guys know e.l.f. has like lighter blush and bronzing duos. And they have some of the darker ones. Before this, the Turks and Caicos was the only one I could use. It was the only one that was dark enough for my skin. But this one looked darker than that one. So I really wanted to make sure I got it. And I think I can actually pull off the blush that comes in this palette. But it's just a really richer, um, more warm tone bronzer and a little bit more of a deep pink blush really pretty really really pretty if this one is still on their website i'll go get it it was only like a dollar i want to say next i just picked up a makeup mist and set i used to use this when i first started doing makeup but um i do plan on doing more fully drugstore looks and i really want to do like a one brand tutorial so i wanted to pick this up and just see how i like it see if they reformulated it or you know, kind of get reacclimated with it because I don't really remember how it did. I know it wasn't a bad setting spray, but I just picked this one up. And the last two products were completely inspired by my friend Chandel. Like, she raves about Elf's highlighting powders and I've never bothered with them. I always do like the big eyeshadows that I sometimes use as a highlighter, but I've never actually gotten their highlighter. And I swear, every time she comes to work, she comes in looking godly. Like, her highlight always makes me look like a freaking angel. Like, it's ridiculous. She's just the cutest. But the first one I picked up is in the shade Moonlight Petals, or Moonlight Pearls. This one is a little bit more of a, it's a gold, but it's like a very light frosty gold. Okay, so this one seems to have like a coating on it. So I'm going to scratch the top of it so I can actually get down to the product. Yeah, this is really light. This is a very intense highlight. I'll be using this sparingly, but it's so gorgeous. The next one I picked up, well, I really should say the last one I picked up. It's called Blush Gems. This one has a little bit more pink in it. And this one doesn't seem to have that coating that the other one did. I think it actually might be the oils on my hands because I did just finish styling my hair. And this is what that one looks like. Wait. Yeah. Right here. So pretty. I'm really excited to use these. So I might as well go ahead and knock out the drugstore products because I only have two, no, a few other ones. The first one is the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder in the shade Translucent Extra Coverage. You guys know I was complaining about how I could not find it. Well, when I went in Walmart, like it was just meant to be. They just so happened to have my lashes that I wanted. They just so happened to have the contouring kit I wanted. And then they just so happened to have this powder. Like, I was about to break down and buy it online, but I'm so glad I went to Walmart when I did because they had them there. The next thing I picked up while I was there is this Black Radiance True Complexion Contouring Palette, and this is in the shade Medium to Dark. Everybody in a mama has used this palette, and it looks so gorgeous on them. I wanted to go ahead and try it for myself. Again, I'm trying to get more into drugstore products because I feel like I have fallen off with the whole drugstore thing. So, I wanted to give this a try. I have used it a few times and I really like it. Um, I'll be doing a video on it soon or using any videos so you guys can see what it looks like on me. Um, but this was only $6 at Walmart. Lastly, while I was there, I picked up some more Salon Perfect Lashes. I got the style 614 and 615. 615 is more of a spiky lash. I used this in a recent video as well. Really pretty. <laughs> gorgeous lashes they're a little bit spikier than the coco lashes nisha but longer than the um ardell 600s that i normally wear they're really gorgeous like i love these if you if you can find these definitely pick them up because they're always sold out and the next pair was actually a new find for me but i they are gorgeous and that's the 614s these remind me of like the red cherry um 615s or like the 747 longs but they're like a little bit more wispy and doll like they're just really gorgeous i will be doing using these in Victoria soon so you can see what they look like on the eyelids but like these are perfect for your kid these are perfect for like an everyday glam look like they're just really pretty and i I'm, i guarantee you they'll be gorgeous if you like stack them or customize them with some like 
individual lashes i think that's what i'm gonna do i'm so excited can't you tell <laughs> and like i said this is not gonna be a long haul video so lastly i just got a few things from mac the first was actually gratis and this is the shade scents perfume in the scent lady danger i really wanted velvet teddy but we're not gonna talk about that <laughs> lady danger smells really good too um the only ones i don't really care for is heroin for some reason i just can't get with it like i like it when it's mixed with other things but by itself it's snow for me though but this is what the packaging looks like like these bottles are so gorgeous these are actually actually luxury perfumes they retail for 58 dollars um they're made in the same perfumery as tom ford and joe malone so really luxurious really expensive like lady danger has some citrus in it but like it's not i don't know how to describe it i'm really bad at <laughs> explaining perfumes like i did know all the keynotes i know it has cherry in it and like mm, don't quote me i did know all the keynotes at one point in time i'll listen down below if you really do want to know but it's not bad if you haven't already go to mac and check out the new shade scents um i would recommend velvet teddy lady danger ruby boo and candy yum yum and if you like really, really soft scents, you can do creme de nude, but that's just not my cup of tea. And lastly, really quick, I wanted to show you some of the retro mats that I picked up. Ooh, I'm only gonna show you two because I cannot find my other one. But this one is topped with brandy. It's like a gorgeous mauve brown color. Really pretty. And I found that all these retro mats dry a little bit darker than they are in the bottle. So pretty. The new formula is amazing. Like it's hydrating, but it's still matte. It stays on longer. It doesn't crack. Like it just, it's so good. And I'm, I was a, I was a fan of the old retro mats, but I'm a big fan of the new ones. Um, they aren't permanent, not all the shades. So if you do like them, I would recommend go ahead and getting them because some of them will be going away soon. The next one I'm gonna show you, which I, you guys saw in my last video, but it is Young Attitude such a gorgeous deep teal color like so beautiful so that is it for my video thank you guys so much for watching let me know down below what new products you've been trying out because i'm always getting my eye open <laughs> but again thank you guys so much for the love and subscribing if you haven't already go ahead and hit that button and i'll see you in my next video